Statewide, we've just learned the number of confirmed H1N1 cases has now jumped to nearly 900. Health officials say nearly half of the counties in the state have now come up with positive test results. Altogether, that makes 885 cases. The number the state has may be slightly off, each county confirming its own cases, most of those in Milwaukee, of course. As the cases come in, the, the state then updates the numbers through the county data. Milwaukee County with the bulk at 614. The next highest county is Dane County with 67. Here in northeast Wisconsin, the virus has been confirmed at some more schools. And today, the case was confirmed at Lawrence University in Appleton. The virus has also been confirmed at an elementary school in Kimberly. Fox 11's Cameron Clark has a closer look. With less than a month of school and finals looming, Lawrence University students have another thing to think about. The Appleton Health Department says the school has one confirmed and one probable case of the H1N1 virus. It's just a little bit harder when you live in dorms. Um, you know, being so close to everybody, it kind of freaks people out a little bit. Just makes you a little more inclined to uh, wash your hands and uh, not necessarily avoid other people, but just be careful about your proximity. I'm not worried. I mean, I wouldn't want to get the flu before finals, but it's not, it's not really affecting my life in any way. Students say they were alerted late last week about a then suspected case of the virus. Uh, they said on an email. They were putting up signs, you know, like, wash your hands often. We've been told the students are taking care of the issue and staying in their rooms and not attending classes. So um, we're not too worried about it affecting graduation. The university says classes and activities will continue as normal. In a statement, the dean of students said, Along with the health department, we are monitoring this health situation closely. We are asking each member of our campus community to take personal responsibility for their health and to do what they can to prevent the spread of disease. The virus was also confirmed in a third grade student at Sunrise Elementary in Kimberly. District administrators were unavailable for an interview, but did say they were holding special health class sessions with a nurse about the virus. The school also sent a letter home Tuesday, advising that any student with flu-like symptoms should stay home for a minimum of seven days. In Kimberly, Cameron Clark, Fox 11 News. The H1N1 virus has been confirmed at three colleges and universities in our area, St. Lawrence University and both Ripon and St. Norbert Colleges.